Hey everybody, welcome to this video about drawing anatomy. So in this uh, video, I'm going to give my best uh, anatomy uh, tips and let's start with the head. So I start with drawing a ball and I'm using uh, Adobe Photoshop, but you can also use uh, paper or Procreate, uh, whatever you use. And if you have any question, just uh, ask them in the comments. So let's start with this head. So we've drawn this ball. Next up, I'm going to draw a line going down here. And that's the middle of the head. Next up, I'm going to draw a line that's going from this here, like this here. And then we are going to draw a line from the back of the head through this point like this here. So you actually have two of these lines like these here. So once we have done that, we're erasing those lines, we are adding a line. So a little bit in front of the middle, going down here and to this here. So if we draw a line here on the side or this circle here, we want to have this a bit straight. It's actually, if we have a ball, it's a little bit, the side of the head is um, flat. So it's as if we are cutting off this part here to make this, so this is round, and this is straight, right? As if you're cutting a part off here. We have this middle here, and we're drawing this line just in front of that middle, like this here. And a bit past this here. And I'm always playing a bit around with these uh, proportions. So once I've uh, made that, I uh, draw a line maybe a bit here. So in the front here. So if I have this height, and then I am uh, I can draw a mask on top of it. So something like this here. Then... I have this uh, this line that is going like this here, that is one third. And I also want to have uh, one third here. So we have uh, one, two, three parts here. So with this, we can uh, start drawing the eyebrows uh, here. And then you can draw the, the nose here. And then the mouth, I think it's one also one third here, like this here. And these, this uh, trick can really help with uh, drawing, uh, drawing the head really quickly. And, uh, and yeah, then we can also know where to draw the, the ear. So like this here and the jaw. And as you can imagine, you can draw all kinds of uh, heads this uh, this way. And we also know the, the hairline, like this here. But here. But what I really wanted to show here in this, uh, this post is um, how to actually draw the head in, uh, in uh, these... Uh, these steps. So that for the head, that is one of the uh, yeah easiest way to uh, to draw it, and um, can also show a little bit trick of the eye. Um, if you're drawing the an eye, and then you have this line here and a line here to figure out the eyebrow, you can also check. That's by drawing on points from this here to this. And this line is also, I think, one fourth here. You can use that to uh, draw the, the eyebrow, the height, the white of the eyebrow. And of course, you can play a bit around it. It's, it's a simple 
little trick uh, I uh, want to use. I'm going to make a uh, video about drawing the face and the head uh, later. I just wanted to uh, to give these uh, quick tips about uh, the head. But one other thing I really want to talk about is about drawing the uh, the body. So if we I'm going to draw the body is I start with a line here and then draw a point here and a point here. And if I divide this line through two parts and I divide it again and again and again, and we can divide this part here, we divide this here. We have eight parts, right? So on the top part I use for drawing the head. And then if I divide this one in three parts, uh, I know where the neck ends, like this here. And where, it's really silly, but where the nipples are. And also for the hips. So at this point, we can use for the for the hips. So for example, and that's a bit less high than this point, but here. And now we can also draw the rib cage. I can then draw it like this here. We got then the rib cage, and we can also make it open like this here. So I'm using these measurements to figure that out. So if we want to have the shoulders, it's a little bit outside this point. So here and here, and we can draw in the clavicle bones. So it's really useful to learn a little bit about these, uh, these points, because then you can uh, understand the proportions of the body a bit better. Here are the elbows, then we have this bone here, and these hands are here. And we can also draw, draw this on the other side, like this here, and then going down here. And then here we can draw these points. And then we know where the knee is a bit above this point. We can draw this leg here and this leg here. See how this has this S curve? Then I can also draw the leg here. And the feet starts a little bit above this point, so the leg won't become too long. So like this here. And yeah, you can use this also to draw the sides of the body. So then divide this again through the middle, uh, divide this point, this point, this point, and also here, here. And then you can draw the, the head. And that is so here, that's a bit smaller. So we can have this ball, like I showed in that earlier video, like this here. And um, then we know where the rib cage is going to be. So divide this again in three parts. So like this here. And we have this point here. So we know the rib cage. We know the pelvis. And we can draw in the backbone. It has this shape like this here. And now we can draw in, in the shoulders, the arms and the hands like this here. And next up we can also draw the legs like this using that here, this one. So this is useful to understand the basic uh, proportions uh, of the body. That way you can uh, learn, uh, you can understand how to draw the the body. So actually, 
let's draw the the feet. So another funny way of drawing the feet is starting by a ball in the ceiling there. I want to show how to use basic shapes to draw all these things. And I will make some longer, more in-depth videos about this soon. Let me know in the comments what kind of um, videos you want to see and I will make them. So here we have this part of the feet and we here we drawing a cylinder. You can make this really rough. Play around with this, try to draw this really loose. So what you can see is I'm using these really basic shapes and like a cylinder and here a ball. And basically this is a cube. And with these kinds of shapes, I can almost draw uh, draw anything. So here we can draw this shape here and this ball. And this is the basics. It's basically like we've drawn the, the bones uh, of a feet. If you would draw this, uh, if you look at the bones from our feet, feet from the side, the bones are a little bit like this here. So really smaller parts and more complex, right? But it looks quite close to this one, right? So if we have this and erase this, and we are going to draw shapes on top of it, it starts to make more uh, more sense. So here. So we have this, this feet here. And of course, here are our toes. Because of the cylinder, we can uh, rotate it up and down. And uh, here, our ankle basically can uh, rotate it uh, horizontal and uh, vertically. So that's something I find really useful for drawing, uh, drawing feet. And there's way more uh, into that. Uh, and the same works with the hand. And the hand is a bit more complex. What I like to do is, if you are going to draw the hand, and you have this line here, and you divide it uh, through the middle, like this here. You can draw a basic shape like this here for the base of the hand. And next up, we can draw a point here. And what's really interesting, if you add a ball here and a ball here, a ball here, we have the knuckles. So this, uh, the middle finger is against this center line here. Once we have this, we can start drawing lines from this point through here. And do this really loose, like this here. And this works also for the thumb. So if we're drawing a ball here, and we're drawing this S shape like this here, we have the thumb. So how do we know the height of the hand? So I've drawn this point and it is the highest point. So if I'm now going to draw a line here, an imaginary line here, and also through the middle here, to this point here, and here I have more loose point in mind. And now we can draw also in the middle here, another line, and here. So now, we can actually draw the, the fingers like this. And now you know here this feet, this three parts of the finger. You can actually also figure out the nail that's a little bit here, like this here. So the dividing is actually not exactly, but it does makes it really easy to draw these, uh, these fingers. So from my feeling this one, it's a little bit too long, so I make this line a little bit sharper here. And this now looks really rough, but it's really useful if you're going to draw uh, on on top of it. So here, this one. So for example, if we're going to draw this in uh, in perspective, this can be really useful to figure out these really difficult uh, 
difficult one. So if you want to see some more hand tutorials, let me know. For example, if you would like to see uh, a hand from a uh, uh, perspective, we would do it on the same way. But then I start with a line like this, make a line here, and divide this line here in the middle. Then we know this part here. And we can for this part we can use a cube like this here, and then we have this line here, and then we know uh, this point here, this point here, this point here, and here, and then we can also draw these fingers going like this here, and then we uh, have this point going like this here. And then here we can draw the first finger, second finger, third finger, and the fourth finger. And you can also use this for the for the thumb. So figuring out this size. So it's also useful to do this with uh, for reference. So here, you can give these fingers thickness, this is a shape here, and then here, then here. And then you also can figure out here this middle, and also this middle, like this here, and even the fingernail here. So now it looks really rough, but if I'm going to draw on top of it, you know, the temp be something like this here. So I'm now drawing it in boxes. It makes it really mechanical, but it also makes it easy to uh, to understand. So here. And here we have this part here. And then we can draw this finger on top of these shapes here. can also give them a little bit more shape. Now I'm doing it quickly like this here. But I find this really useful. I'm feeling this this thump is maybe a little bit too short. So sometimes you noticed some things that don't work. You can always check out your own work to see the right size. So yeah, I think this would work more and the basic trick is to, by dividing this, you can figure out all these, uh, these sizes. And you can start drawing on top of it, right? You can start drawing the, the nail, the knuckle here. And then and you can start drawing the, the hand. And this also makes it useful to draw in more uh, complex, uh, complex shapes. So basically, this is really a basic of how I draw all kinds of uh, of anatomy. And to learn more about this, check uh, my other videos and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. Or check out my anatomy course for more in-depth uh, tutorials. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.